Thing this week, this means that Kaimaki's biggest small business event is right around the corner. Keep it Kaimaki on Saturday. Return celebrating its seventh year highlighting small businesses. This year, the event will host new activities and entertainment for family fun. Founder of Keep It Kaimaki and co-owner of the public pet Jordan Lee in studio. So Jordan, this is so exciting. So what's happening this year? Now you have all these goodies too in front of you. <laughs> yes, thank you for having us. Uh, this year, we're going to be celebrating Keep It Kamaki Saturday, which is traditionally called Small Business Saturday. And so it'll be this Saturday from uh, 10 to 5 on November 25th. Wow, so so excited. So so what can we expect this year? I know that people are really getting out. They're celebrating. We have Thanksgiving. So what can we expect for Keep It Kamuki? We're um, at our record this year. So we have 48 participating businesses. Wow. So we're really, really thankful for our local community and our local small business community for coming through. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to be celebrating by having uh, holiday promotions, deals, and also like special discounts and items that businesses are giving away or promoting as well. It's going to be really fun with uh, the trolleys are coming back as well. Wow, the trolleys coming back? Yeah, the Kaimuki trolley was really popular, so we're going to be having them go uh, up and down doing round trips from the new uh, Goodwill location all the way down to the base of Wailai at City Mail. Wow, so people can just yeah. go walk there and just don't worry about walking up and down. They can just take the trolley. Absolutely, right? yes. Yeah. And, and so what do you have here? So these are some goodies here? Yeah, we have, some, yeah, we have some great uh, new merchandise as well for Keep It Kaimuki, um, some cute little swag items. Uh, Plantoam has this uh, beautiful setup over here. We have uh, Keep It Simple. They're going to be doing some sales as well. Sugar Cane and Red Pineapple are also going to be doing sales. Uh, we're excited to really just showcase what the neighborhood has to offer. So there's going to be a mixture of food and retail and art. So it's going to be a fun event. So, so why did you decide to find found this? I mean, you're one of the instigators of all of this great mm -hmm. promotions for Kaimuki. As a small business owner myself, I really wanted to promote um, just small businesses in general. Um, I really feel like within the neighborhood of Kaimuki, it's such a heartbeat and it's such an uh, important uh, cornerstone for just really holding everything together and really uh, celebrating uh, what we offer that's unique within Hawaii. And so how can people help support Kaimuki? I, I live near a Kaimuki. Oh, you do? So of course nice. we, wanna, we wanna keep you going. So, so what can people do to help come out and support you? Besides, of course, shopping. Of course shopping, um, but definitely being present in the neighborhood, just enjoying the festivities, enjoying the activations. That's really what we're asking for. And really just to remember that shopping small and shopping local is really important. And to just continue that tradition, not just for the holidays, but throughout the year. Yes, exactly. So we're looking forward to this. So give us some final tips on what we can do as far as, I know parking can be kind of a, a, a a challenge, so yes. tell us about some parking. Parking advice. can be a challenge, especially in Kaimuki. Yeah, um, exactly. Uh, Sacred Hearts is actually uh, wonderful. Oh. They're actually uh, letting us have their lot, so it's going to be a free parking lot for the uh, people who want to visit. Oh, wow. If you're riding your bicycle, um, please do. Uh, we're partnering with Hawaii Bicycling League, and they'll be hosting a bike valet as well, so you can do that, or you can ride the trolley, or you can walk down. Um, it's going to be a wonderful day of activations at the, at the Ali Yolani Elementary as well. Okay. We have, I think, uh, 30 vendors, so what we're calling the Kipekamaki Makers Mart. Um, so 30 additional vendors, as well as the participating businesses in the neighborhood that are really offering something special for our activity okay. attendants. So final details. What can you share as far as like where people should cause should start shopping and how long this is going to go on to? Um, it's going to start off uh, this weekend and some businesses are kicking off their sales for the rest of the weekend or the rest of the year. So definitely if you have any information that you want to find out, um, just go to keepitkaimaki.com or also visit our Instagram at keepitkaimaki. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. And we will have more uh, after this and we'll be back more to talk about another Kaimuki business owner after this short break. Stay with us.